This is a review of the Equalit wireless air quality monitor and it does have an indoor temperature and humidity sensor as well. Mine arrived from Amazon and as usual with Prime packages normally arrive within about two days. I happen to live in a rural area and I have family members with allergies and this is my backyard hence my concerns about the air quality in my backyard. The unit comes very complete and very well documented and this is what everything looks like when you take it out of the package. Ecowit seems to be very thorough in their packaging and also include everything that you need. They do include the rechargeable batteries which you do need to recharge completely before you use the unit. I have my unit outside and since charging it I have not had to recharge the batteries for weeks. And this is the indoor sensor. I do have an equal at weather station I've had for quite a few months now and it has worked perfectly from day one, hence me willing to give this company another try. And as you can see, this does have the indoor temperature and humidity listed there at the panel. It's a very simple unit. Um, it's not backlit, which I do like that in the bedroom, and it's very easy to read whenever you do look at it and you can simply just select your preference between Celsius and Fahrenheit just place in your batteries and you can also reset the uh, maximum readings on that if you desire the thing I do like about it is you can hang it on the wall if you like or you can place it on a dresser or tabletop like I did and if you notice I already have a reading of 200 and since I've recorded this I've had it over 300 on another harvest day and if you also notice, I have very high strength. Surprisingly, the sensor is pretty far away from this unit. And if you notice, the battery is also fully charged as well. I have not had to recharge the battery. And this is the unit outside. As I noticed, I did this in the morning, so there is some morning dew on the solar panel. Um, but I have not had to recharge it uh, for weeks, and I don't think I ever will, as long as the uh, batteries stay good. Um, and as I have a historic brick farmhouse and I'm really surprised about how far away this unit is from the indoor sensor. One thing I like about this company is they're very forthright with all the information that they have and I was really wanting to check out some more information about this unit before it arrived and uh, so if you ever look for more information about their this company just check out their website they have everything you need to know there one thing I did notice was the size of the outdoor sensor and I wanted to place it on a 4x4 fence post and as you know American 4x4s are not true 4x4s and so that was a little tricky getting it mounted properly and this is the chart that's actually included in the manual as well as far as the air quality and I was really surprised that you know how often whenever there's you know harvest going on or you know the winds blowing out here in in the middle of rural Ohio that the uh, air quality can be a little iffy at times uh, having family members that suffer allergies both indoor and outdoors is another reason why I was interested in this so I was really really kind of surprised the other thing I like about this company is they do have all of their manuals and every information software updates if you need it for other products online. This is their downloadable PDF manual that's also included in the uh, package that arrives and as you can see just for this one little product it's very thorough and explains everything you need to know. One thing I like about this unit it is it does have the standard measurements of air quality that you normally see um, on other apps or weather stations and this is the uh, mounting bracket that goes on like I have on my 4x4 post and one thing you do have to make sure is to have it that lip there sealed properly against where the battery compartment is and my understanding is as long as you have it properly uh, sealed it is weatherproof and I've had it sitting outside with lots of rain I've had up to five plus inches of rain one day and it's never had an ounce of moisture inside there but I think as long as it's not sitting in a puddle it's in good shape as far as being outside and the other thing I always do with these manuals is I always download them for future use because in case you misplace the original directions um, but um, 
uh, this company, as I mentioned, I do have uh, another weather station. This is the weather station I have, and this is the reason why I would like to give another one of their products a go-ahead. It's been a great product, and I noticed they're starting to increase the other items that they have available. So um, good for them. It's um, It's been an enjoyable um, experience with them, and it is fun. I enjoy uh, monitoring my weather, and it's been a really fun hobby, and um, I enjoy this uh, sensor as well. It's been helpful.